During the Iraq War, 1,300 Americans died fighting al-Qaeda militants in Anbar province. The U.S. prevailed, the militants fled, but now they have returned. The city of Fallujah is once again a battleground as Iraqi forces fight to regain control. Tonight, Elizabeth Palmer is in Baghdad, a city on edge. There's hardly a man here whose life hasn't been touched in some way by Iraq's escalating violence. And now, al-Qaeda-linked extremists have come back to Fallujah, only 50 miles away. The worried congregation looks to the imam for reassurance. He tries, but has to stop. Fallujah, once again, a violent front line, is his home. We must stand together against terrorism, he tells them. It is destroying the country. Yeah. Yeah. Why? After prayers, the head of the influential Gailani Mosque, Saeed oh, okay. al discusses the crisis. Already the violence has driven many Iraqis abroad, and those who stayed and can afford it now have protection. Rich people, like that. powerful people. Yeah. But ordinary citizens don't have bodyguards. They simply have to put up with the constant danger. Iraq is a fragile place right now, and the last thing it can stand, says Gailani, is the return of al-Qaeda. What's the danger if they come here in big numbers? It's very big danger. Iraq now is not safe. I tell you, I'm not, not safe. Because we don't know the car bomb here, fighting here, some shooting here, some people killed by a sniper here, there. But if al-Qaeda involve, al-Qaeda, he kill all. But with little confidence in Iraq's corrupt political leadership, it's hard for anyone here to know what to do, except pray. There were reports today that armed and masked men in Fallujah were trading shots with the army across the highway that runs past the town. Uh, it's now well after one in the morning, and we just spoke to somebody in Fallujah who told us, yes, there is still shooting going on, Scott. Liz Palmer in the Iraqi capital for us tonight. Liz, thank you.